Did you see anybody win a race? <laughs> Looking around. <laughs> what are they thinking? <laughs> Your eyes on the go. Yes, sir. Pa, 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 pa. They say you are stupid, you can't hear. You can't hear. You are deaf. You are deaf to it. Today is today. Today is today. Today is today. That's how to win a race. The Lord showed me something very humbling this week. He so said, there are many unchurched people in church. They are present in body and absent in spirit. Many unchurched people, they are in the cult, but they are also in the church. <laughs> you know, one day, the children will go gather together and sit and came. He said, Satan, where are you coming from? I said, you know, I go to and fro. When I had that same meeting, I felt that you come out. <laughs> and you may not allow me to talk, but I want to be an observer. Because you said, uh, whosoever will let him come. That's why I came. <laughs> so I asked the Lord, how did Satan get here? He said, he flew through the window. <laughs> there are many unchurched people. In, there are worse than Hamalisa. And they're in church. When they get home, there's something they will shake. Let what Papa pray for me to the answer. And you're using the devil. <laughs> he won't answer you. <laughs> there are many unchurched pastors in church. Many unchurched founders in church. Total disconnect from God. You better know where you are standing. There are those who go to Habalis before they go to church to preach. I said, Satan was present when he go our presence. The conference held in heaven. He flew. Please wake up and know your stand. Be true to yourself. Secondly, no matter who prays over you, sir, without your faith, nothing valuable will be added. Jesus prayed for them in Nazareth. He could have done no mighty works. He marveled at their own belief. Mark 6, 5 and 6. He taught two blind eyes. With his overwhelming anointing, he said, but according to your faith, I've put all that I have, but it will deliver according to your faith. Somebody saying, you know, I was, I've been, this is a ninth impartation service I will be in. Nothing happened the first, the second. In fact, that day, Papa shouted more than this. Uh, disconnect. Mm. There's a clear spiritual disconnect. Mm. And there is no way water can flow from the mains without connectivity of the pipe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> mm. Total disconnect. He's sitting down there and I went, well, they said we should come. I came. Do you have any handkerchief there? Please. <laughs> I don't believe in all these things. Who cares? The cost is on you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? That creative realm of ministry, sir, created covenant, created landmark. Yes, Everything works here yes, through divine creative hand of God. I encountered it by a mantle, by a mantle mentality. Mantle mentality. Wake up, my friend. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Your healing is determined in your mind. It's your full persuasion that provokes God's integrity. Without being fully persuaded, you cannot experience His hand. 
as I close, how do I tap into the special miracle virtue in the prophetic mantle? Be born again and maintain a right heart. Create in me a new heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. You need a right spirit. Not just being born again. You need a right spirit. Because they consider not the works of the Lord. Then the operation of his hand, he would destroy them, would not build them again. You can't be despising the move of God and expect to be moved forward by it. You need a right spirit. Simeon was born again. And I guess God baptized in the Holy Ghost. He said, please give me some of this power here this morning so I can go back to business. He said, your heart is not right with God. You have no part or lot in this matter. Without a right spirit, if I give you my coat, it won't matter. Without a right spirit. 1990, I was there to pass my garment out in a service like this. And one of my daughters who had no two ovaries, it was removed surgically because she was going to die. So they removed the two ovaries. She carried the garment and I was teaching why they are passing it around. First son arrived. Hallelujah. Second son followed. Amen. They are both graduates of Covenant University. No ovaries whatsoever. Somebody's soul is changing. Yeah. No, that one, let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Maintain a right spirit. The way up. Think straight. Think right. 